Thank you. Like, actually, thank you. So you want to make an effect like this or like this, but you don't have any experience with Unreal Engine, so you go on the trusty trusty YouTube to search tutorials on how to do it, but oh no, none exist, and the ones that do exist, well, they're not much help, they're garbage, and yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you have to do is obviously clear the material and um, call it, uh, effect, 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 now get inside of your material, and then you're going to be greeted by this very confusing, very ugly, very, yes, well, you're going to need some textures, I'm going to include them in the description below, but, um, give me a second while I import them, you can use any hi uh, height looking maps, or you can make your own like I did with the circle thingy. You can use any height map you find on the internet, or you can make one like I did with the circle thingy. Now, once you have your height maps, take both of them. Hold up, I'm holding my... Good. Take your height maps, put them in the, the, the thingy right here. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, actually, yes. Take them in the thingy right here, and then... You're going to make me suffer because I have to hold my mic with one hand and then do stuff with the other hand. And yeah. The, the, <laughs> okay, to start off, take your first height map. You don't really need this. No, this one's bad. You just need this one. Okay, just so to start, you need a... Hold one, click, hold T, and open the whole T and click. Search for texture coordinate. That's cool. You have your texture coordinate. Now multiply, connect these two together, and then turn this into a parameter, and then call it whatever you want. What this parameter is going to be is actually call it um, more amount of goodness what this thing does is basically multiplies all of these lines and makes the the effect even more it has more effects yeah it can get very fancy but i don't recommend it. making it too much and let's move on to the second thing this is the, it's the second thing you're going to need is a panner what the panner does is basically makes your texture move around and then from speed you want to go to, wait, where is it, okay, there it is, you're going to uh, append, uh, I'm pretty sure it's append vector, once you have your append vector, make two more parameters, this panner is going to be on the x coordinate, and this one is going to be the y coordinate, what these do is it's basically the speed on each axis, this is the speed on the y axis, and this is the speed on the x axis. Now you connect the speed and this is how it works. And now, here's the magic. If you have your height, make sure you have your height map selected on here. And then from this RGB, you can make three diggity dang multiplies. Yes, three. Once you have your three multiplies, connect them, connect them to the last one to emission, emissive color. And then to the simple parts, create, hold three and click to create a color parameter, and then call it color. This is going to be the base color of your thingy, so basically the inside, the one that doesn't glow. And then connect this to base color. Create three separate parameters, and crap. Which are going to be for the metallicness. Roughness. And finally, specular. This is going to be for the base mesh, not the glow mesh. I mean, not the glow material. So come on, please. Get it, get it. Connect this to metallic, this one to roughness, this one to... Uh, um, this one to specular, and this one to roughness, okay. Hmm. Now once we're done with this, we'll do the other simpler part, which is with, which is with the last multiply. This is going to be the glow color. Convert to parameter, call it glow color. 
glow color. Connect that to B. And then from here, you're going to copy all of this. Control W. And then add a, add a parameter. Call it emission. This is going to do exactly what it's called. Uh, I mean, this is going to do it exactly what it says. It's going to be the emission. <gasps> what a surprise! Alright, now connect B to emission and A to the the, 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 the texture sample. And from there, you want to connect this to the second B. Okay. And now from the same emission thingy, you want to connect that to the first B. The first multiply B. And now if I'm right yeah that's it get out of your material create a material instance don't even call it anything you should name it well and then mess around first let's change the color to make it uh, red no perfect red and glow color this is going to be the speckler is going to be one, the roughness is going to be one. Yeah, so it doesn't look weird. Uh, actually, no, speckler one, roughness zero, and then emission is going to be one, and then this black color is going to be blue because fanciness. Amount of goodness is going to be. Doesn't look that good. Yes. You can see there are a couple of bar blooms here. That's what the UV mapping, if you have your own mesh, UV map it as well as possible so it works as well as possible. And now, for the good parts, the X and Y. If you raise these to about um, the X, if you raise that to 50, you're going to see it start spinning around, but only when you move it. I don't know why that happens, it's just a bit material and it's just stuff. Look at it. And if we change this to... Okay. Now, let's bring in an actor. Let's give it a sphere. Let's give it the instance. I forgot what it's called. Uh, effectively instance. And there it is, you can see that the effect is very, very cool, very nice, very deep. Look, I'm not even going to add any image just because I'm very lazy. Actually, I think I would, but who who, who cares? Subscribe to the channel, fo follow me on Twitter. For reasons. And, uh, what else do I want to say? Oh, yeah, like the video. Did you like it yet? Did you? I'm waiting. I still am. I'd see you. Thank you for liking the video. You're awesome.